Amazon is gaining even more ground in the smart home market. The e-commerce giant announced yesterday that it has officially closed the deal to buy the home security device company Ring. It's a reported $1 billion acquisition, making it one of Amazon's biggest purchases. Now, Ring, founded in 2013, has more than 3 million users. It's best known as a smart doorbell maker. The device is Wi-Fi enabled, and it lets users see what's happening on their property, even when no one home. Jamie Simonoff is the CEO and chief inventor of Ring and he joins us now. Amazon. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. So, you know, some people find Amazon pretty scary. It's this huge company. They're gobbling up other com other uh, companies, perhaps putting a damper on the entrepreneurial spirit because people just want to be sort of purchased by Amazon. What's Amazon doing for you? You know, I think it's, I mean, from, from our looking at Amazon, you know, Amazon's probably been one of the best purchasers of companies in the technology world. I mean, if you look at their history, Zappos, uh, IMDB, Audible, like they've allowed founders like me to achieve their lofty goals. And those people are still there after many years. And so we have a big lofty goal of reducing crime in neighborhoods at Ring. Mm. They really bought into that idea and, and are going to now allow me to scale that and build it even bigger and make more neighborhoods safe. Yeah, because for you, it's more than just selling more, more doorbells. Yeah. Yeah, right. o always was. Yeah. Uh, we, we always say like neighborhoods was our sort of market and what we sold to and building these safer neighborhoods is what Ring really, that was the focus. And this now lets me do that at a scale that's way bigger than what I was able to do before. Definitely. Um, let's talk a little bit about that. Um, you've actually seen sort of numbers where neighborhoods have seen reductions in yeah. crime that have a number of your products. So we did a study with the LAPD where with 10 percent of the homes having ring we were able to reduce crime by 55 percent in this controlled area. Not bad. Yeah. How does ring work? So uh, Ring, I mean, simply it's a doorbell that allows you to see and speak to who's at your front door. It mm -hmm. also has motion detection. But what it really does, all our Ring products, is they bring presence back to the neighborhood. I always say if everyone was home, our neighborhoods would be much safer, but mm -hmm. we're not. We're, we're working, we're, you know, we're all out of the house, families are out of the house, and so neighborhoods are empty. And so by bringing that presence back in, by having that two-way audio, that motion detection, someone comes up to your front door, and you, all of a sudden they're sitting around, you say, hello, can I help you? They don't know where you are. Bringing that presence back makes neighborhoods safer. Now, is the video saved somewhere? Sure, so the video is saved in the cloud, okay. um, and so you can access it, and then gets shared, and then that sharing also makes the neighborhood safer because someone says, hey, this happened, this person was at my door, I'm at work, it seems kind of weird, you share it on a, you know, we have our own sharing thing called Neighborhoods, mm -hmm. which is like a, a thing in the app. There's the next door, Facebook, all these ways of yeah. sharing this data. Yeah, I, we were talking something very similar happened in my neighborhood where someone was getting their uh, packages, their Amazon packages, actually, yeah. ironically, uh, stolen. <laughs> they didn't have one of your devices, but their neighbor did and was able to sort of put the picture out of who did it. So I totally get that. But when you hear about Wi-Fi enabled anything. You can't help but to think of the possibility of hacking and privacy concerns. That must be something that I imagine you spend a lot of time working on. Absolutely. I mean, as a, I consider Ring a trusted brand now in neighborhoods. And if you are a trusted brand, if you're going to, as a security company, uh, ask people to trust your brand with their security, the first thing you have to start with is privacy and protection of their data. Yeah. So, I mean, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing to make sure that there is some protection? I think, uh, you know, protection of data is a, it's a daily task. It's something that you have to have systems in place and people, and it's, it's more of a... Because the hackers are working on a daily basis to figure exactly, out... Exactly, because it's evolving. System. So it's not about something where you just put a line in the sand and say, this is what we did. Yeah. It's that every day is the focus of your business. It's the foundation, because if you violate that, I can tell you that no one's going to trust my brand with their security in their neighborhood, right. and then I'm not going to achieve my mission of reducing crime in their neighborhood. Um, when, you come, when you talk about reducing crime, do you share the video with law enforcement? So we don't. Okay. So it's that, and that's the great thing about Ring, is it puts the power in the homeowner's hands. So we always say it's like a partnership between the homeowners, the neighborhood watch, the police, and it all comes together. And now this data can be shared where the homeowner says, hey, this is this is worrying me. It gets shared. It shares with the police. Like, now everyone can work together to make a safer neighborhood. So you have a pretty interesting story. A, really started in a garage? Yeah. No way. Yeah, four and a half years ago, I was still in my garage, <laughs> like, at this point, which is just so crazy to be here, like, you know, from there. Yeah, it's been actually a pretty short rise, yeah. but I'm sure for you, you've been grinding the whole yeah. time. You managed to actually get on Shark Tank, and they rejected you. 
I, I did not get a deal. So yeah, I, I walked off of there. And at the time, I literally, you know, I drove back to my garage in Los Angeles from Shark Tank broke. Really? Um, yeah, so it was a real thing, I mean. And so at that time, did you sort of lose faith in the product? Did you think, what what am I going to do? And no uh, one thinks, they don't think it's a good idea? You know, it, w what we saw even on Shark Tank, everyone understood the product and liked it. I just couldn't seem to get a deal for it. Um, so I didn't lose faith in the product. And luckily, I was in such bad debt at the time that the only thing I could do was make it successful because otherwise, I was just going to go bankrupt anyway. Right. So I was kind of forced to make it into a success. Well, you showed them it is a, <laughs> a huge success. Jamie Sivanoff, thank you so much. Oh, thanks for having me.